The Lord of the Flies is an enemy you can find wandering around present Mahabra and is more or less the reason I recommend traveling through Mahabra in the past instead. They deal a lot of damage and require the on guard skill to fight perfectly safely. If you start a fight with them without using on guard, there's a 1 in 3 chance you'll get a coin flip before the fight even starts. If you fail the coin flip, the main character takes 10 damage. Their arms have 400 HP and use Harry Palm for 30 non-elemental damage each turn. Since it's non-elemental, armor doesn't help. Harry Palm ignores evasion but has a 10% chance to miss. Their arms go for a coin flip instant kill on the, sing it with me now, second turn and every third turn after. Why didn't you sing it with me, dude? What the heck? You get a warning which arm is about to do it. When you see the message, Arm of the Beast twitches, it means it's going to use that arm to perform the coin flip next turn instead of using Harry Palm. Their head has the standard 20 HP and a 1 in 4 chance of using Bad Breath, which deals 20 non-elemental damage and has a 95% chance to poison you. Their torso has 700 HP and a 1 in 3 chance of attracting flies at the end of each round. This does 5 non-elemental damage, ignores evasion, and has a 10% chance to miss. If you set the torso on fire, the head becomes vulnerable. Like prison guards, these guys get a full round of attacks off after you kill them. If you have party members, on the first turn, talk to him, select please don't, then select please I beg of you. His torso can still attract flies and he can still do his coin flip, but this stops the rest of his attacks for that turn. You can't stun him two turns in a row, but you can stun him every other turn with this. If your other party members can deal at least 350 damage, or can deal fire damage, have them attack the torso. On the second turn, you should be able to get everyone to work together and finish off the torso or cut off his head, taking only one Harry Palm attack. If your damage is low and you don't have fire, talk on the first turn while your party cuts legs, Guard on the second turn while your party cuts the other leg. Then talk again on the third turn while your party cuts the head. If you're solo, this gets a lot messier and isn't worth it. Since all his attacks ignore armor and he gets a round of attacks off before dying, if you get incredibly unlucky and take all possible attacks on the first turn and they roll high on damage, you could lose, even if you kill him on turn one. If you kill him on the second turn, you're almost guaranteed to die from his post-death attacks. You essentially only get one offensive action on this fight. You either need to deal 700 damage to his torso on the first turn, or you need to land a status effect, then guard the coin flip, then talk to him to stun him. Even then, you still might die. It's much simpler and much safer to walk around in the past. There is, however, a silver lining to dying to these things. Half the time if you die to them, and every time if you die to their coin flip, instead of a standard game over, you'll get dragged to one of two cages. You can escape these cages with lockpicking, a red vial, or a small key. And if you do, all of your status effects except for limb loss will be cured, you'll have 31 HP, and you will no longer have a phobia. It says that you still have one in the menu, but you don't. This can even cure panophobia. The downside is that all of your current party members will die, but if you didn't have any, there's no real cost. Let me know down in the comments which enemy you want me to cover next. I'll ignore it, but let me know anyway.